Welcome back! Now we're finally on the way to finishing this edit post section. In this video we'll take care that the whole edit post thing is working once we're finished here. So we're at the point, let me close this console, where we're passing the post content, the body here, and the ID to the router. Now the only thing we have left to do is to actually create a controller function which will edit the post in a database. So let me go to my controllers and this is clearly a job for our post controller. So in here I want to add a function here, the public function function post edit post and this should get well a request. And then inside this function, I first want to validate this request because the post could be empty. So we have this validate request. And now let's create our rules. And the only rule I have is that the body is required. Now you might ask, okay, it's, a, it's an Ajax request. What happens if validation fails? Well, in this case, we will also return, we'll return a JSON object with, well, the errors regarding to this fail. What we'll do in this application is we'll not handle these errors, we're not outputting them, for, at least for the moment, but we won't continue, we won't add, we won't update the UI, so the user will see that the changes have not been written into the database. If we pass validation, what I then want to do is, I want to get my post, and we have the post ID passed into this, function and post will be just getting it through the post eloquent model here and we can just find the request post ID. We're passing the post ID and find is just a handy function to use our post model which is directly mapped to the database through eloquent um, to well to find this ID we're passing into here. So we got our post here and now what we want to do is edit this post. So for this I'll just set the body of this post equal to the new body we passed in here. And this is all I have to do, right? That's the only thing we can edit. So thereafter I'm calling post update. Not save, we're not saving it as a new post, we're updating the existing post. Very important. After this I can return a response which will be JSON. And in here, I want to return code 200, and I will also return a JavaScript object. So again, building this up with my array, where I will just send me message post edited, something like this. So this is uh, the function we have here. Now in our router, I have to hook this function up, therefore I will get rid of all this. Use an array here, say which action should be used, or which controller should be used. So obviously we're in the post controller here at post added post. And this should have a name of well added again. So we've all seen that before. So now we're passing this to our real function, a controller. This will validate it, and if validation succeeds, it will edit it. If it does not succeed, succeed, well it won't edit it. So to actually see something, let me go here and now I'm just outputting a stringified version of whatever we're getting back so that we can see what happens if we, well, don't pass validation. So let me reload here and open up my dev tools. I click edit and save changes and you see we get this message post edited. Now let's see a new posts, let's see, add many s's here, and it was edited, we don't see it here, we have to reload for the moment here, but now you see it was successfully edited in the database, otherwise it would not appear now, because we're fetching this data from the database each time we're refreshing this page, right? So this is cool, this works. Now what happens if this is an empty field? Then we get an error here, we got the 422 error message and so now if we reload we see nothing happened it well did not pass and that is all we're doing for now so the last thing is when we edit this 
we want to well close this modal and instantly update our post here, right? This is how it should feel. Now we don't want to reload our page and therefore you change the text on the currently active page when we successfully updated um, our data in the, in the database. I will yeah, do this in this done function here where I know we will only get if we have successfully passed validation. Now I might get there even though there is an error in the database but that's very unlikely in our case here and it would of course be easy to implement some functionality to check if we're actually successful or not. So in this case, we're going to say, when we're inside this done callback, we're good to go and the data has been updated. In this case, I then want to change the post body here, this text here basically, to the new text. To do this, I will create a new variable here at the top, which I will call post body element, so to null at the beginning, and I will initialize it here, post body element should just be this here, so not the text but the pure element and I will obviously then use post body element here and then down here I can use jQuery pass this post body element variable into it and then call the text function to output some text. Now the text I want to output should be sent back from the post controller now, uh, for to, to do this, I will edit this message here. And we're no longer sending back a message, but instead, let's say we're sending back a new body property, which we set equal to post body. So this is definitely the post body we're writing into the database, and therefore I'm sending it back to the JavaScript here. Now, obviously, you could also implement other ways of handling this. You could update it as soon as you click this button here, for example, because you might say, hey, I'm sure it works and we do this kind of um, eager or optimistic updating. Yeah, So uh, you'll see this in modern web applications a lot because normally our database access would obviously take some time and maybe we don't want to use or wait that long. So this would be probably a better idea, but yeah, this would be very easy to implement. You would just update it right away once you click the save button. We're doing it when we're getting back our data. Now, in this case, I will access my message element. And here the new body was what I called it, right? New body property, which will be exactly the text we stored in the database as the new body. So with this done, let's try it. Go to reload my page. Click edit, a new post, enter something. Yeah, as you see it updated. Only thing is I want to close the modal. I can do this here in the, uh, in the done function as well, let's say. I will just target my edit modal. And here I can call modal hidden. No, it's modal hide. So let's try if this works. Reload, edit, get rid of all that bullshit here, save, and it works. Modal closes, post is updated here, and also, as you can see, when we re reload this page in the database. So this is how we can edit our posts. It was quite a lot of work. Now we can edit them, delete them, also only edit and delete our own posts. Oh, that's one thing we should edit, maybe, here in the post controller. This check we have here when deleting posts, we should also implement, implement it here when we're editing posts to check if the current user is the user who created this post. Very important thing. So now we're good to go. Everything has been set here. See you in the next videos. Bye.